Hello and welcome back to Angels of Death. I am your host, Tin Man. And oh, my voice has gone all weird then. Yeah, I'll, <clears throat> I'll do that again. Hello and welcome to Angels of Death. I am your host, Tin Man. And I'm gonna give the creepy doctor his eye back. Here, Doctor Green, I see. Did you pick this out for me? Rachel, could I have slipped into your under, so into your subconscious? But you're getting warmer. Point your beautiful gaze at me. It's just these these things you're saying, Doctor, they're not meshing well with me. It's just me, Doctor Danny. Can you recall what my face used to look like? Try to remember that we had sessions other than those in the counseling room. Secret sessions. Uh, I have no memory of ever seeing you anywhere other than the hospital, Doctor. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Rachel. I like this. Is he going to say the same thing? Yep. Yeah. Um. Do do we get more of the eyes then? Yeah, eyes in. Uh, take the blue one then, I guess. Hey, doctor. Ah, Rachel, is this for me? You know I adore blue eyes, much like yours. But I don't need a blue one to, to your peepers. This pales in comparison. For peepers are blue, all I need is you. Hmm. Maybe I should have just thought what color Alexandrite is. Okay, so we got we basically given him all three. Uh, glass eyes. Rachel, what a lovely red glass eye. I fancy this colour. Is this why you chose this colour? Were you thinking of me? No, no we weren't. Still, you were close, but... You were close, but close with but no cigar. I'll keep it though, okay? Oh, Rachel. I was so careless, my glass eyes in a place that's locked. And the key was in my pocket all along. Here. Huh? If it's alright with you, I'd like you to find my eye. Would you do that for me, Rachel? Yeah, why, why, don't, why don't you look for it to yourself, Doctor? Well, I'm curious if you remember what my eye looks like. No need to worry, I know you'll find it in no time. So we've got that key now. Shelf key. Right. I'm guessing it's for this. This key should be used on the shelf with all those eyes inside. Those are these ones. Uh, I think it was this one. Hmm? Oh, actually, in here, in over here, somewhere that's locked. Here, open the door. A lock. Glass eye is inside. This glass eye has two eyeballs jammed inside. Rachel, Doctor. I don't think glass eye with two eyeballs in it is. Oh, you found it. This is what I was looking for. Is this glass eye yours? It sure is. Does it not make you feel anything? Remember anything? You must be dreaming still. Fine if I borrow that. I'm just not my usual self unless it's in. I must have it in for both of us. Uh. 
both of us? Rachel, yes? Thank you, Rachel. I'm going to put this in now. Could you wait in the room outside for a bit? You mustn't run now. That's funny. He's acting strange. I'm scared. Is it safe to stay and wait for him here? I don't think it is. I'm just gonna... Walk away from him. Crap, it's locked. Doctor, did you do this? Gotta get away from him. Need to find something to open this. I wonder if there's... Something around where the doctor was earlier. Behind the apparatus, a crowbar. Huzzah! It's order to take care of the door. I'll try to open the menu then. Somewhat rusty iron crowbar. Pop this into the gap. It's rigid, but... Get, get in there. Just a bit more. There we go, it's opened! Hi! <laughs> Rachel? Where are you going? Oh, I don't like the fact that we can't see his like little portrait anymore. I, um... Did I tell you that running's a bad idea? This is my floor. D doctor If you run off to another floor, then I can't treat you. Now, can I? No, Doctor. My wish is to gaze into your living peepers. But no, this won't do. Your living blue peepers are exactly what the Doctor ordered. That's why I've got to ask you, Rachel. Eh, uh, that's fun. That's, that's not... Oh God, wait, it was his right eye? Can I have your peepers? Daddy, okay. Let go of me. Never, never. Okay, now we're bound to the table. To be fair, didn't give me much of a chance to run away. <laughs> the doctor? Oh, Rachel, your face. Stop it, let me go. The exuberance I loved is no longer in your peepers. It saddens me so, Rachel. Can't you remember why it is you're here? Why this is happening to you? If you could, then you redeem yourself. Let your peepers regain their luster and come live with me, Rachel. No? Yeah, I assumed it was his left eye, which was a glass eye. If you need to pop it back in. Please, Doctor, please let me out of here. Rachel. Still, your peepers are more breathtaking than any other person's by far. Uh, uh, let me go, I want to see my mum and dad. Rachel. There, there, you'll see your mum and dad in, in good time. They're waiting for you. In hell. Hmm. Oh, Rachel. Give me your peepers. What are we remembering right now? Red moon? Rachel? Now it's back to blue. Rachel. Rachel! Oh my, your peepers are so beautiful. It never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, I'll release you from this right now. Oh, ain't that convenient. Alright, let's go, Rachel. Um, oh, I'm as happy as a lark. Huh? Y you Uh. Wee! <laughs> Hey, Danny, what? Why, why, why are you so happy about? I couldn't take it anymore, so I slashed you. Hey, little missy. 
going after you got me in a hell of a mess. Do you want to live? If you do, then run. Run and squirm, cling to your hope. Time to get slashed. <laughs> I think our non-reaction has probably just killed his mood. Yeah, we killed his mood. Shit. Ah, what a dull reaction. Even with the tip of my blade pressed against you, you don't have the will to live. Is Danny dead then? I'm a respectable adult. I got. I'm a respectful male adult, so I'm not into shredding emotionless doll emotionless dolls. Hmm. What the? Betrayer alert! The sixth floor master has attacked the fifth floor's master. This is a violation of the rules. Along with Rachel, the betrayer also is hereby a sacrifice. Okay, so Zack, we're, co we're in cohorts with Zack now. Ah, no fucking way. Shit, better run for it. Oh, we have like a no reaction to this, are we? Oh yeah. I'm not meant to live. Right then, so... The doctor's eyes, they're shut and I can't see them. Oh, that's the glass wall being broke. Yep. A glass wall is shattered. So we go. Shit, it won't budge. Not even I beat on it. How the hell did you get down here? Or oh, up here? Up. Yeah, up. The hell am I gonna do? Who the hell are you? What you doing? Shut up here like you own the damn place, huh? Um, I've got a favor to ask. Huh? Please. Kill me. I must be weird asking a uh, murderer. Blah, <laughs> Oh god, don't ask me to do creepy shit like that. I've got no time for crazy bitches like you. If you're just gonna spew out creepy shit like that, how about getting this door open? You got it. Gross. <laughs> the elevator door is shut, eh? So the only door that is it open? Is here. The key. Maybe the doctor has it. Yeah, he did have all the keys on his person, didn't he? So let's go get them. Inspect his pockets. Hmm. We have like no problem having a fresh course, and that guy is actually still alive. Fun. Oh, and ties ahead for little Rachel here. Appears to be okay. Yeah, open the door. Now to activate it. Yeah, I still press the switch. Oh, it's this. Pop. Cool. Like maybe the elevator just came back down for him. That's probably what happened. Now I'm expecting the doctor to like jump us at some point. No? Okay. Hey Zach, we opened it. Hey, are you the one who opened this elevator? Yes, that's right. <laughs> so it was you, huh? Hey, didn't you say earlier that you wanted me to kill you? 
No, I did. I'm such an idiot, so yeah. Let's work together to get the hell out of this place. Then once you're frolicking outside of a goddamn stupid grid, I'll... Oh. Kill you. <laughs> you like that prospect, don't you? Mr. Bandage Man. Oh. Really? Well, that is if you behave. Okay. Alright. Now let's get the hell out of this place. Uh, the... Isaac Foster, or Zack. Hey. I got two rules. No fucking around, and no prancing around all merry-like. I got a big problem with fuckers who look so happy. Whenever I see them, I can't help but kill them. Oh, so that's why he killed, killed Danny, like, just dead in there. Whatever you say. Well, that dead look in your eyes, I probably ain't got nothing to, probably ain't got to worry. Made to the fourth floor. Based on floor four. Cool, so it's chilly here. Shit, we're uh, it's still only on B4. Gotta get out of here already. Move it. Alright, chill, Zach. Yeah, let's go back and go back up and save here. Oh wow, 40 sleep slots. Save slots, yeah. So anyway, that does it for this episode. I'm gonna to go to you basement four next time round and Danny, good old Dr. Danny here is going to be chasing us, I imagine. So anyway, that does it for this episode of Angels of Death. I have been your host here, man, and I'm signing off. Goodbye.